What's up, family? I'm back with another episode. So right now, we're going to do the vocals today. So I already wrote some little lyrics for this. Just something simple. You know, it's a songwriting contest, but we had like a month to work. So I did have the time that I spent to make like a real masterpiece. But I just thought I would put something together just for fun. But before we get to recording the vocals, I want to show you guys what I did with the beat since the last time we talked. So I just kind of did some arrangements on this and put it together. So I was going to show you what little differences there is. So for the intro, <coughs> the drums are pretty much like what you heard on the last video. Well, I added to it, we just solo out the sounds here. If just this guitar sample that I use, I kind of cut it up and sliced it. That's what shows that I was a hip hop guy. Cause I didn't just like put just a loop or a sample. I chopped it up, but listen to this. I'm going to show you guys something I did. I'm stupid. That was the, guess the drums, not the guitar. Hold up. Let's try this. So as you hear in there, there's like another like lower note that's strummed in there. It's like, doo -doo, beep -boo. and the thing is, that's not necessarily on the beat. So I heard that and the guys that are going to be judging this. They probably are going to pick up on that too. It's a small thing, but I had to bring out some of the tricks that I used back in the day of making hip hop beats when you sample. So some of it is if there's a little extra sound in there, a lot of times you could just leave it. But for this, this, this isn't a hip hop beat with a lot of chaotic rhythms going on. I can't just like hide it by adding extra drums or leaving sounds and like just accentuating that extra rhythmic thing that's being put in there. So I accentuated it instead by actually adding another little synth here. I added this kind of just buzzy synth. So I'm going to solo this just by itself. And I'm going to show you the effects that I put on it. So this is just a buzzy sense. So the way that it sounds like normal without any effects. It's just kind of quiet in the mix on purpose. And I just added this chorus on here. Monster chorus. And I added a little extra something to it. So I put that under there because that's going with the same notes and rhythms is what's that little undertone that's in the guitar sample so that way when you put it together that little sound it kind of it distracts from it because it's kind of in that same sonic space as that little lower guitar note is and it's on a rhythm that your ear is going to be drawn to that buzzy sounding synth first so it's going to actually accentuate those little offbeat parts and make it sound like it's on purpose so when you put them together You hear how it kind of distracts from that? So in the final mix, I'll probably do a little bit of EQ on this also just to make it fit better. So that's the first thing I did sound-wise that was different. So let's just play through the beat and then I'll pause it. It will break down some of what I did. <coughs> so I just added some structure and form to the beat. So I gave it just a little eight bar long intro where it's just going to be just instrumental going. As you heard the last one, I had the bass line. So you guys already know that I did that. <coughs> I added a little bit of a droning synth. So I just added this little droning synth to it. They added this little synth sound too. Kind of like a saxophone type sounding synth. But then here comes the hook. So I took this sample right here. I chopped it up just a little bit because I just I want just the beginning of it. I just repeated it. I don't think I added any effect, just some compression. That's all I added to it.
So I decided that the hook right there where all the extra comes in needs to be 16 bars. Because while I was writing the lyrics, I just felt like the hook needs to be 16 bars. Because it was too short. And, I, and for me, I felt like since this is a pop song, the hook needs to be longer. So that's the only other main difference. Let's go to the ending here. Because the ending of the song gets a little bit chaotic. So it started... Let's go 4 before so you can hear what I did for this. But it's kind of normal here and I just like chop out the bass line here and I switch it up because like you actually hear like Robert from uh, the home studio simplified channel he talks about this a lot too on his um listening he talks about how like with stuff like this you don't want it to be repetitive so that's something that I always preach too in my reaction videos I'm always saying like you want to add something or take away something. A big thing though too when it comes to pop music, you don't want to get carried away with it because that's not what the listener wants. The listener they want they want to be able to expect what's coming up next. So you want to change things. But a lot of the time what I'll do is I'll just take sounds away or add like extra drum sounds in to accentuate the part of the song that we're on. Because if there's going to be lyrics on the song too, like this is, you got to leave some room for the lyrics. That's another thing that I learned um for doing hip hop music for so long. A lot of times the rappers rap's a little different because it's incredibly rhythmic. So you don't want to overload it with too many things because you have to leave room for the vocals. It's the same thing with pop music and the type of stuff that I do nowadays. Same thing. You want to leave room for those melodies to come through. Let the vocalists get their shine. So let's go back here and listen to it and I'll tell you guys what I did after. So I kind of stripped out some sounds here. Just go back a little transition. So this is the hook here. It's going to be different because it's going to be a more exposed and stripped down sounding hook. This part right here is kind of cool. I had to bring in just a little bit of a shade of hip hop in here. So but this is here, I took out the bass line, I put in this modulated 808 to end out the song. If I wasn't lazy, I probably would have tuned it. But like I said, dude, we're working on kind of a time crunch here. Because I'm doing this in between other stuff, you know. <laughs> uh, so, i kind of just been fitting this in as a side project in between other songs and writing my blog and then just life so it's yeah <laughs> anyway so i added that in so that what that is that's just like a long 808 kick that i used a sampler plugin and that allowed me to actually modulate that kick so that we can turn it into a bass line that's a very hip-hop rap music thing to do so i put that in there that plus that's something that is a very modern sound in a way that you would hear a song on the radio nowadays and the song kind of remixes itself. The other sound in here that's somewhat interesting that I put in. I also just put in like a modulated snare sound to add as a transition. So that's the same thing. I just took like a little snare shot and I um, put it into a sampler and I just modulated the pitches so that way it kind of has a little bit of a melodic twist to it is it to be kind of a transition going into this i might make it a little bit louder that's the only thing i think it, it just it could be a little bit louder in the mix so i can crank it up right now a little bit <clears throat> so i changed up like the whole drums at this point so it has more of a hip-hop kind of a trappy sound to it. You know, you got your syncopated kicks. So it's definitely a very trappy sounding kind of a kick pattern. But it kind of has a little bit of a twist to it because I didn't want it to just be like straight up trap. I wanted to give it a little bit of a twist. That plus these sounds here, they're the same kind of more pop oriented sounds. So it's still the same like snare and clap from the rest of the song. And uh, yeah. 
that's pretty much how I ended up structuring out the song. So that's really pretty much all it is to it. So we'll go over here. But you got to put in your little extras in there, you know. That's mandatory. It's not going to be rap music. You don't have your little extra sound effects in there. That's, what did I put at the end? Did I put a little A at the end? You know what I'm saying? I wanted to put a little bit of hip-hop into it. So we, you got to have the extras or else the, the little ad-libs and stuff. That's what brings it to life. But of course, too, that's the other little snare sound thing. The same thing, modulated snare. I just did it. I don't remember. It's probably 30, it's either 30 seconds or 64th notes that I did. See, that kind of machine gun snare sound. So, yeah, that's what the changes to the beat were. So, you guys can be able to listen for that. So, now what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to bounce this down. And I'm going to bring it into a different software. And we're going to record the vocals. I'm not going to put it on camera to record the vocals just because, like, You've all seen people record vocals, and honestly, I don't consider myself to be that good. So it's probably going to take me a really long time to get it right. So we're going to cut the camera off, and I'm going to come back to you after it's already recorded, and I'll tell you guys what I did and show you the little mixing that I did to it.